Now another quick memorization tool are this cluster of metals that have only one oxidation state. Now group one is always plus one, group two is always plus two. And a handy way to memorize these is to see this pattern on the periodic table. You notice this stair step, silver, one element is plus one, two elements are plus two, three elements are plus three. And we are going to assume all other elements need a Roman numeral, all other metals, but group one, group two, and this little staircase. It's not necessarily true, but uh, anything else you'll be able to figure out from the context of the question. So for memorization purposes, this is going to work for us. Now let's start with binary ionic compounds. Now remember, the goal of making an ionic compound is to make the charges cancel. In other words, we're making a neutral formula unit. Now we have to get into naming a little bit. Uh, we go back and forth between formula writing and naming, which comes first, and it's kind of a circular process. Now, IDE means it's the single element anion with the exception of cyanide and hydroxide. So if you see IDE, it's a single element anion. Now, to do these, what you want to do is write the ions. Calcium's group two, so it's always plus two. Chlorides minus one when it's ionic. Now we want the lowest whole number ratio, so we need to find the least common multiple. Two ways to do this, you can set up an algebra. I need some number of calciums times plus two, some number of chlorides times minus one, and you want the least common multiple, the lowest whole number ratio that will make that zero. Now another way to do it is here. I need the least common multiple of two and one. Well, one times two is two, and two times one is two. So I need one calcium, we never write it, and I need two chlorides. Now, bear in mind that in a neutral formula unit, you want no charges showing. All those charges you can do in your work, but if it's a neutral formula unit, you don't want any charges showing in the final formula. Right? Now, if it's an ion, you show its ionic charge. It's just within a formula. You don't show the charges that are used to try to determine what the formula will be. Okay, aluminum is plus three. Oxygen is minus two. The lowest whole number ratio is six. So two times three is six, and three times two is six. So that's how I got two aluminums and three oxygens. All right, couple more here. Magnesium is plus two because it's group two. Phosphorus is minus three. Um, that's the most negative it can be. The lowest whole number ratio, if you want to do the algebra, go for it. The least common multiple is six. So three times two is six, and two times three is six. So I want MG3P2. Remember, no cursive, true uppercase, true lowercase with your symbols. Now tin can either be plus two or plus four. So we need a way in the name to communicate that information. And that's what that Roman numeral two is. It tells us we have the tin plus two as opposed to the tin plus four. Phosphide, we just saw as minus three. The least common multiple is six. Three times plus two is plus six. Two times minus three is minus six. So I have plus six, minus six, and that does indeed equal zero. So SN3P2. And we're gonna practice this in class. All right, now going from formula to name, we'll wait for the next video. So until then, this is signing off.